Hello, my dear friends. Uh, very good day to all of you. And may God bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. And let this week be a great week for your life, for God's glory. And I would like for you to know this. We have been speaking about the prayer. Because when you enter God's presence, whenever you go down your knees and you speak with God without no one disrupting you in a secluded place and in faith, personal, before God. You are entering His presence when you do so. Whenever you pray and you bring your thoughts to God, you are entering God's presence. Sometimes we don't have enough time for us to be, you know, thinking about His words, and we do that prayer, that quick prayer. We are on the daily battles and the confusion of life inside the bus or sometimes stuck in traffic. And then you say, oh God, help me. You are in God's presence quickly when you do that. Yes, He hears your prayer. But when you go inside your room, and then you close the door behind, your, behind you and then you speak to God or even in the bathroom and you close the door and there you are by yourself, you are in God's presence. You are in the presence of the Most High and there He shall hear you. He shall hear your cry out. He shall hear your plea. But what I want to tell you is this that Jesus, he once said, this is what he said, come to me, all who are weary and heavy burdened, and I will give you rest. When you come to the church, for instance, don't come to speak to the pastor. Don't come to pray or to ask for the pastor to pray or to ask the pastor. Come yourself with the intention to have an encounter with the Lord Jesus. Because the church is God's kingdom. When you, when you come to God's kingdom, you have to enter and you need to have direct connection with the king, not with the servants. So when you come to the church today, tomorrow, or any other day, come with this intention. You are going to come to speak to God to speak to the Lord. And then when you come to the church, then yes, you have the encounter with God and you receive the answer to your prayers. Otherwise, you are going to be stuck. Come and go, come and go, and nothing happens simply because you don't come to Jesus. You are coming to the pastor, the bishop, but you have to go directly to the Lord Jesus. And it's to Him that you have to come. All right. I'll continue talking more about this. God bless you. In Jesus' name.